begin at the official residence of Deputy President Riga Vigashagwa in Karen, here in Nairobi, where the embattled Deputy President today sought forgiveness from his boss, President William Ruto, for whatever wrongs he has committed. If he committed them. Mm -hmm. The Shagwa, who faces the impeachment vote in the National Assembly on Tuesday, spoke at a prayer service attended mostly by his close allies, including a section of members of parliament from the Mount Kenya region. Citizen TV's Kamau Mwangi reports. The prayer venue is dubbed the National Altar, having been established by the first deputy presidential couple, William and Rachel Ruto, to reside in the current residence. And to President William Ruto, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa turned today, asking for forgiveness just a day ahead of the parliamentary vote that could seal his fate on Tuesday. So my brother, President William Ruto, if in our zeal to work, I have wronged you, please find it in your heart to forgive me. To our members of parliament, if in the course of duty, through our utterances and actions, we have in one way or another upset you, all wronged you, find it in your heart to forgive me. We can believe God to come there, storms, and they will become, you, this place you have been told by the father of faith, Every time there is trouble, we come here. And every time God turns the trouble back. And in a fresh twist, Gashagu asked the president to forgive him for mistakes that his wife, the second lady of the Republic, Pastor Dorcas Rigavi, might have made in running the rehabilitation program for the country's boy child that has fallen into alcohol and substance abuse addiction. If my spouse in our duties for the boy child and our program has wronged you in a way, find it in your heart to forgive her. Gashagwa, who has already engaged a battery of lawyers to mount his defense, expressed faith that the law courts will uphold the will of the people if the battle gets there. We have competent men and women in our judiciary who I believe will uphold the Constitution, protect it with their zeal, and always uphold and protect the will of the Kenyan people. His apology today also extended to the larger Gashagwa family, whose wealth has been paraded as evidence to support the claims of his corrupt dealings two years since his ascension to the second most powerful office in the land, Kamau Mwangi Citizen TV.